Well, I just wanted to jump on and let you guys know I finally got my pump working and uh, just about done with my brother Gino Arcovio. He passed away today a year ago and um, I've been working on this waterfall for a whole year. It's a waterfall and koi pond and uh, had a problem with my pump got it all figured out and now it's working so I'm gonna show you it here I did this as a uh, memorial to my brother who passed away with a heart attack one year ago today so anyway I got these nice big stones here of course I'm still filling the, the pond so I got the water hose here but anyway got these nice big stones and believe it or not I found all these rocks right here on the property I just manhandled them and moved them here the help of a wheelbarrow and some of them with the help of my son and then that's the waterfall there with a small holding pond here and the secondary waterfall I gotta get the water coming through the center there fixed but then it comes down the stream to a third waterfall and it keeps going down to a fourth waterfall and then it has a final waterfall of the edge right into the koi pond. So once this koi pond is full, then uh, I'll be able to put some koi in. So I still got to get some rocks, get the rocks. It's finished up with filling with rocks, but anyway, I got it working. Of course, this up here is my pond. And I didn't have it hooked up right. So I had to cut out what I did and I'm redoing it. Right now I'm bypassing my my skimmer box, but I'll I'll I'll, I'll be uh, hooking up that skimmer box here in the next day or so. I just wanted to make sure my pump here, there's an Artesian two pump, wasn't pulling the water. But my problem was I had the wrong valve. It's a it's called a check valve here. That, I didn't have it hooked up correctly, so I had to cut that check valve out and cut out this three-way here that was inside the pump there and uh, redo it. But anyway, I'm testing it and it's just working great. So I'm I'm just days from being completely finished. I've got to cover the concrete area with rocks, but uh, that's it. I'm just really happy with the waterfall. I think it's really turned out nice. And once it's completely full of water, then it'll just recirculate over and over and over. So anyway, there you go. That's my uh, prayer stream waterfall I built in the backyard with my own hands. Just dug it out with a shovel and took me weeks and weeks and weeks to cover the entire berm of it with concrete. I had to do that because of the uh, ground gophers we have out here. They would have tunneled through the side of my... If I left it dirt and even covered it with a uh, pond liner, it would have just burrowed through it and, and all the water would have, would have been lost. But at any rate, it's all finished. So God bless you. Have a wonderful day in the Lord.